How to create an animated wireframe sphere in DaVinci Resolve 17.4.6. Inside your project edit window, go to effects, under toolbox select effects, and click and drag one fusion composition effect filter to your timeline. Select this new edit, press Ctrl or Command and press D in order to change the duration of this clip. By default, this will run for 5 seconds of screen time. Right click on your Fusion Composition clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Fusion Nodes grid, hold and shift and press space and use the search box at the bottom of the Select Tool window to find a background tool. Select this and go to click on Add. With this new node selected, go to Inspector in the top right corner and underneath Colour to ensure that there is transparency in between all of our lines on our sphere, reduce Alpha to 0. Return to your Nodes section with the Background 1 tool selected, hold in Shift and press Space and go to add a Grid tool. Select either the left or right view options underneath your Nodes as you go along to see a preview of your video clip elements above your Fusion timeline. With the grid node selected under Inspector and Controls, here in this particular project I will set row cells to 20 and column cells to 40. And to ensure that all lines on your grid appear of equal width, reduce the major line spacing value to 0. Double click on the white box next to line colour and inside the HTML box of the colour window which appears, type in the hex decimal code hash 0066FF to generate a light blue shade, click OK. Increase both the horizontal and vertical line widths to 0.1 to make these stand out more. Return to your nodes grid with your grid node still selected, hold in shift and press space and insert a shape 3D tool. The grid tool should be automatically connected to shape 3D via the green output arrow. With shape 3D selected, hold in shift and press space again and go to add a Renderer 3D tool. Click on the grey box to the right of Renderer 3D and drag your mouse cursor to the yellow arrow alongside Media Out 1. Select either the left or right view options underneath Media Out 1 to preview your final shape. Select Shape 3D 1. Under Inspector and Controls, change the Shape option from Plane to Sphere. Increase base and height subdivisions to 100. This will prevent your lines appearing in a wavy form. Go to select Transform. Underneath Rotation, ensure that you select Y, X, Z so that we can tilt the sphere vertically slightly and apply a gentle rotating animation effect. Increase Rotation X to 15. The following rotation animation effect will be applied to my Fusion Composition clip which comprises of a duration of 5 seconds and by default a fusion composition effect comprises of a frame rate of 24. If you chose at the start of your tutorial to make your fusion composition clip longer, I will also show you how you can make the rotating animation effect loop so that this animation effect will continue playing in your extended wireframe sphere video. Ensure first that you are at the initial frame of your video clip, frame 0, by referring to the keyframe pointer underneath the bottom right side of your Fusion timeline. Select the keyframe diamond icon next to rotation Y, which by default will be set to zero. For anyone who wishes for their wireframe sphere to rotate longer than five seconds, the start and end point of our horizontal rotation will comprise of a straight centralized line in our sphere so that the rotation continues running smoothly without any abrupt or incoherent changes in the positions of the vertical lines. I will now advance forward to the frame representing the 5th second in my video clip. Here in this case it will be frame 119, given our original frame rate of 24, and increment rotation Y to 9. Adjust the size of your sphere by changing the value applied to scale. Here in this case I will decrease this to 0.7. And to make your rotation loop, select Spline. In the spline chart that appears underneath your fusion timeline, tick the Y rotation variable box, drag the two grey circles above your chart to the left so that you can identify the two blocks on the chart which represent your keyframes. 
for the rotation Y variable. Click and drag your mouse cursor over these to make a selection of both keyframes. Go to click on set loop so that the rotation continues if your clip lasts longer than 5 seconds. Close the spline window. Select Render 3D1. To add more vibrancy to your sphere, hold in Shift and press Space. And go to add a Soft Glow tool. With this new node selected, under Inspector and Controls, decrease gain slightly to 1.6. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.